Good evening and welcome to Real Talk, where every Sunday night we offer insight, education, and resources to in-home caregivers and those affected in their world. These are the parents, the children, the extended family, and everyone who loves them. And our goal is to offer real life topics and learning through discussing real issues and offering real solutions. And tonight, I'm very excited to welcome our guest, Danielle Bunya. Hi, Danielle, it's good to have you. Hi, it's great to be here. Absolutely. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Danielle and then we're gonna jump into our topic for tonight. Danielle is an experienced and highly qualified early childhood educator, consultant, and professional development instructor with many years of experience guiding and caring for infants and children along with their families in a wide variety of settings, including individual family homes, homeschooling, daycares, preschool, and Montessori and Waldorf-based early childhood programs. She is a master newborn care specialist with Newborn Care Solutions and has completed a graduate level certificate in early childhood and achieved licensing by the state of California at the master teacher and site supervisor levels. <sighs> and we're not done yet. <laughs> this has permitted her to run a multi-classroom preschool or daycare for ages birth through eight years and to guide and mentor other teachers and caregivers in best practices for these ages. For the past two years, Danielle has written a column for Nanny Magazine on the ABCs of Respectful Care and her first ebook based on and expanded from these columns is coming out later this spring. That's super exciting and really I don't know, I think a personal kind of little bit of investment in all of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, because as a part of Danielle's professional development journey, she participated in the Elite and Master NCS programs by Newborn Institution and her respectful care for newborns, infants, and toddlers course grew out of that collaboration um, with other NCS in the program. It was literally a retreat. It was like, hey, wait a minute. There's something awesome here. Let's, I think you should take that idea and run with it. Um, she offered the first in-person course in Cancun in 2018 and filmed the course for Newborn Care Solutions later that year. And it's still up on our LMS, our learning module systems, where you can find that. Um, from 2018 to 2022, she taught the intro course a total of 16 times in 13 different cities to over 100 students and then launched the inaugural cohort of the intensive advanced course in respectful care in December, 2020. So in other words, something more came out of it. This is awesome. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk about tonight. The advanced course content will now be available to a new cohort digitally. And the waitlist pre-sale is on. General sales will open on Thursday, March 31st in conjunction with the INA conference, which I think is awesome. I love that you're doing that together. And so tonight we're gonna to dig into that. We're gonna talk about what this is. We're gonna discuss launching this new digital access course um, for the advanced course in respectful care. That's a lot to talk about already, and we haven't even started back and forth yet. But Daniel, before we get started, I want for you to share with our audience your heart behind this, because them having a little bit more of an understanding of why you're so passionate about this, I think will really help them understand ultimately what they might get out of this. Yeah, so my, my heart behind this is actually the connections that I've created with other NCS and nannies through the elite and master programs and then through teaching in person and sometimes over Zoom and realizing that the information that I have been fortunate and privileged to have and the background that I've been fortunate and privileged to have is something that can add to other people's experiences and the kind of professional care that they want to deliver to their clients and that I can collaborate with them in teaching and learning to support them in bringing that to each and every family that they're that they're supporting. So that connection that I made, especially with the people in the in-person courses throughout the course day, and then when they come up to me afterwards um, and say, oh my gosh, that was amazing. My brain is completely fried from eight hours of like brain science and early childhood, but I want more. Um, mm -hmm. When are you gonna do an advanced course? And I was like, 
wow, like I'm, <laughs> I can't believe you're asking for more after a really long, intense day. But I could see the passion and the desire to learn more and to bring this more and more into our professional practice in this group of people, which was so many, I mean, dozens and dozens, over a hundred people who participated in the in-person courses. Mm -hmm. So I can see how there is, um, there's a desire in our industry on the part of many caregivers to interact with this content and to, to incorporate it into their professional practice. Mm -hmm. And I feel really excited and really motivated to bring that content and to open up that space for us to have this teaching and learning together to make it, um, I mean, honestly, it sounds trite, but to make the world a better place, you know, uh -huh. for each of the families that we're supporting and for ourselves in our personal and professional relationships. Yeah, fantastic. And I do want to address so that people know that we're actually pre-recording this one um, because of your schedule and my schedule and everything going yeah. on. Um, so you guys will have to forgive us just a little bit with the background noise with the wind and stuff, because yeah. here's the thing. And it ties directly into this. Danielle, <laughs> tell everybody where you're at and why right now. So I'm in Cancun, Mexico right now. And I am having the very first advanced course retreat with the inaugural cohort, the four students who signed up for the first ever advanced course in respectful care, which was completely unique because that was a fully interactive course. And so we have been working together and co-creating the curriculum through their questions and their interests, as well as their contributions to make this the most amazing course ever that we can then deliver digitally on an ongoing basis. Because I don't have time to do this kind of a course every year where it's been you know, fully interactive and we're, on, we're, we're engaging with each other and working through a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of content and a whole lot of things. I don't have time to do that every year. So I decided to offer that for this first cohort um, of four people. And then from then on, it's going to be a course delivered digitally like most of the courses are in our industry. So this is our first time, all of us getting together. For some of us, it's the first time meeting in person. I had met everybody in person and some people had met, um, but, other, but others had not met others because they took my in-person course and nobody else from that course happened to be one of the first four who signed up. So we end up um, just getting to know each other and enjoying this really incredibly beautiful scenery. We have right over here, we have our little beach. So can I show? Yeah, this sure. Our little beach. This is our little beach here. And we have a little pool um, and a beautiful home with air conditioning. My goodness, because yeah. um, it's quite warm here. But yeah, so this is where I am right now. And one of, one of the advanced inaugural cohort students is right over here. She's gonna come <laughs> on and say hi. <laughs> it's Trey, here she is. Hi. <laughs> right down to moment from Atlanta, originally from Boston. Um, so, the scene. yes, she's enjoying the panorama of the beach while I'm chatting with you. So, absolutely. So, I wanted to do that because that's an exciting part of this, and we're going to talk about it um, just a little bit. Well, when we talk about kind of how this all has worked, but let's dig into this. Let's talk about this advanced course in respectful care, and I would love for you to share with our audience. What is offered in this course? Uh, because right now there's not a place where they can go find all the details, uh, but let's tell them right. what's covered. So yeah, there's a little bit of detail on the wait, on the waitlist page and on the uh -huh. sales page, but at this point um, it has been under development for three years. So I did a couple of years of development on my own based on when people would say, can you do an advanced course? And I'd be like, okay, what do you want? What are you looking for more of? And so I started, creating an idea of what I thought should be in it. And then of course, we've really spent a lot of time and energy working through it in, in the actual inaugural cohort. So we cover um, the basics of respectful care, like in the intro course, um, in a lot more depth. First of all, I mean, that's probably pretty obvious. So we cover principles from Montessori, from um, Dr. Pickler and Dr. Gerber and Rye, resources for infant educators. We cover a lot from the Reggio Emilia approach mm -hmm. um, and constructivist education. And we also cover a lot from the Waldorf um, Rudolf Steiner School. And that is indexed, first of all, together. So it's not just like, I mean, anyone can read the books and the things that we cover in the advanced course and have all of that knowledge. But what's unique about the advanced course is that we read those things in concert and, and I, we talk about them relating to each other and how in this one, they call it this and in this one, they call it this, but it really is related. And they're actually talking about the same thing. Or this is a similar situation. And in the signer approach, this is the underlying belief. And in the Montessori approach, this is the underlying belief, but this is the result comes out to be actually the same. 
So we index the knowledge across the different disciplines and the different pedagogies to understand what's really happening on the child development level. And the basis for our understanding of the child development level is science. So specifically modern current developmental neuroscience. So understanding how infants and toddlers and children's brains develop mm-hmm. and adults' brains. Because um, one, one shift in development that we as caregivers know is dramatically um, underappreciated and um, underemphasized is the transformation from being an independent adult to becoming a parent. So there are changes that happen in our brains when we as an adult mammal hold our offspring for the first time. And then suddenly we are in a completely different mode and our interactions with, the, with that child are different than their interactions with any other child. So we talk about it throughout the lifespan, all the different shifts and developmental changes that happen to human beings, the science of it, and then how these pedagogies have sort of interpreted and recommended and, and the, the whole um, content of those approaches and how it relates with the science. So then when you go into a situation um, I mean, the way it originally started out was at the elite retreat and Aaron Carol Manning was there and Stephanie Hudgens also, they were on the same weekend as me. And I was saying, you know, we were, it was in the, one, the talk when we were saying, what's your dream? What do you really want to do? Like, just think outside the box and maybe we can help each other out and have synergy. And I was like, I'm placed in a nanny position right now because they offered to pay my NCS rate to be a nanny. So I'm a nanny because that's how it works. <laughs> um, and so I get calls for people from agencies saying, oh my gosh, I have this NCS position. They're looking for exactly you. They want all the things that you offer. And I'm like, I'm booked. I wish that I could recommend someone else who has the same approach that I have, who has the knowledge of these pedagogies and the knowledge of the science to be able to come in and give that type of care because there clearly are parents who are looking for that. And Erin stuck around and she said, well, you should teach a course. And if you teach a course, I'll be there. And Stephanie stuck around and said, I'll be there too. And they were two of my original six students here in Cancun, eight, six, eight months later when I taught the first course. Mm-hmm. So, um, so basically being able to be in the situation with the child and the parent or one or the other, and be able to draw from all of these approaches equivalently mm-hmm. and from a place of knowing the science behind it. So being able to do a truly bespoke, fully custom tailored approach and recommendation for each situation with each child that's what the advanced courses offer. So we also have other, we also have other content. We talk a lot about communication because communication is extremely important. Uh So once I have that idea and I decide, okay, developmentally, this is what's happening. And with this mix of personalities and whatever, I think I'm going to try this technique from Montessori. How am I going to communicate that to the child? And most importantly, the feedback I got from so many people, which resonated with my personal experience is how do I explain to the parents why I'm doing this thing? Because if someone hires you to be a Montessori nanny and you do something that's a Montessori technique and they say, why are you doing that? You can say, oh, it's Montessori. And they're like, oh, okay. But in any other context, if you're trying to explain it and you just say, oh, it's a Montessori technique, but they're like, but I didn't hire you to do Montessori. That doesn't really give them a satisfactory answer and it doesn't feel satisfactory to give that. Whereas if you can say, oh, this is a technique that supports your child developing their sense of personal agency, which is how they see themselves when there's a problem. Do they see themselves as always needing help from other people for everything? Or do they see themselves as potentially part of their solution? Mm -hmm. That's a much more effective way to explain it to a client than just saying, oh, it's a Montessori technique, even though maybe it is a Montessori technique. Um, And you can also add that in too and say, oh, it's a Montessori technique. And what it does is, so bringing all of the knowledge together and correlating it and cross-indexing it so that we have a web of knowledge in our brains It isn't like, oh, I know all of this about Montessori and I know all of this about Waldorf and I know all of this about child development, but all of it is fully connected and interactive. Then you have one body of knowledge that you're pulling from when you're looking to respond in any given situation. Fantastic. I'm sitting here going, wow, (laughs) so much to learn, so much that we can take and apply. And I know, you know, you and I have both been in this industry for a long time. And I think about who I was over 35 years ago as a nanny versus where I am now based on all the things I've learned and continue to learn. And I just see this as one more massive tool that can just improve anybody who has the desire to really serve families and serve children, because that's the heart of a nanny. That's the heart of an NCS and anything we can get that will help us do that in a respectful, loving, caring way 
it is just phenomenal. So I love that you've done this. I love that it was just a statement. It was just a vision of an idea. And look what it's becoming. It just, I know. It's right? amazing to think it literally all started in that one little conversation. And then the very confident replies of people who really meant it and followed through. And, and then it turned out there are so many nannies and NCS who really want this information and who, wow. and, and the thing is you kind of touched on it, but I'll even elaborate a little bit. That when you have this level of knowledge, we call it going two levels deeper. <laughs> when you go two levels deeper and you can explain the science and the un understanding what's happening, even if you work for a family that's like, I can't stand Montessori. We had a terrible experience with Montessori. We're not interested in Montessori. You can use that Montessori technique for that family because it's science-based. Mm -hmm. So you're not using it because it's a Montessori technique. You're using it because it is actually building the child's personal agency. It's mm -hmm. actually supporting the development of the child's healthy interactions with the world. So even if it happens to be something that has a name in the Montessori method, none of these things are like owned by. They may have be associated with these pedagogies or these approaches. They may, um, they may be well known in connection with them, but ultimately they're just interpersonal skills. Right. They're just ways of communicating, the, the choosing the things that you're gonna communicate and what you're gonna say. And so you can use them freely. You don't have to feel restricted when you have that two levels deeper knowledge. Yeah, absolutely. I love this. So let's get to the let's get to the nitty gritty. How's this going to be offered, and how can people get enrolled in it? Sure. So also in response to student requests, there are actually two versions of the digital course. Okay. So the first version is similar to the one that I offered for the inaugural cohort. It's intensive. It's a year long and it has 120 hours of content that's delivered every month. And the, and it is, um, and, there, and there are payment options on, and it, sorry, and it includes access to the, to the retreat, of course. Okay. And it's offered in pay in full, there's free payment and there's also installment payments. So okay. people can do monthly or they can do bi-weekly because I understand that for caregivers who are on um, the most common payroll nanny payroll services that it's bi-weekly. So I want to make it easy for people to fit that in. Um, so that really works, especially for people who maybe are an NCS and have an LLC and they have business capital. They want to invest in their education and in their company and all of that. Um, I did also hear from quite a few nannies who said, well, I'm really interested in an advanced course, but I'm not an NCS and I don't have money to invest upfront for something, but I really am interested in this content. But I'm also not going to be able to turn around and raise my rates to match my new skills because I'm planning on staying with this family for three to five more years. Right. And I want to stay with them. But I'm really interested. I'm so passionately committed to this and I want to learn this content. Please, can you offer a course that can be in an affordable format for nannies? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, sure, that makes a lot of sense to me. And I really appreciate people bringing that to me so that I could even have the idea because I never would have had that idea on my own. Mm -hmm. um, so what I did is I developed what I'm calling the pocket size course. So it still has all of the core content, the 120 hours, but it's offered every other month. So there's a payment every month, but there's content every other month. So it spreads it out over twice as long. Mm -hmm. And additionally, I'm not including the one-on-one -on -one support that's in the intensive. So the intensive includes a one-on-one -on -one VIP day with me, which you can do in person. You can add it onto the retreat. You can do it virtually, however you wanna do it. It includes one-on-one -on -one calls for personal questions that you don't want to address in the course, um, you know, in the Zoom calls. Um, and then there are, there are Zoom calls that go along with the content. So the personal one-on-one -on -one stuff is removed also in order to bring the price down. So the pocket size is just the digital content and access to the retreat in the, in the second year. Yeah, sounds good. So how do people get signed up for this if they're interested? So there's a sales page is going live on um, officially it's going live on Thursday in conjunction with the INA conference, but it's actually going to go live on Wednesday, um, mm -hmm. as a sort of a sneak preview. Um, so I, I assume we can maybe drop a link in here. Um, is that? Yeah, that absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So the yeah. link will be below, um, mm -hmm. where, which will, which will then go live on mm -hmm. Wednesday. Yeah, it'll be, we'll make sure it's in there. Um, if for some reason it doesn't get in the description, you can always pop it in there or you send it to us. We'll get it in there one way or another. The, it'll, the link will be there and we'll Great. make sure of that. Perfect. So 
tell us a little bit more about the retreat. So obviously you're in Cancun right now. Um, yes. So kind of retreat format, give us a rough idea of what you cover and is it always gonna be located in Cancun? How does it work? So it's not always necessarily gonna be in Cancun. My preliminary plans for next year's retreat in 2023 are that it would be in Vancouver, BC in the summertime, which is a really beautiful time to be in Vancouver. Um, we have a we have a lot of self care and downtime because that's something that we don't really take in our careers, and so many of us like fly from work to a professional development retreat or a course, and then we fly back to work and we don't really have any downtime. So part of respectful care is nurturing the nurturer and caring for the caregiver. So we definitely have time for downtime and self care, and then we have um, interactive content. We've been watching DVDs and talking about that content. We've worked on talking about our own you know, bringing our own personal questions or concerns or things that, that have come up throughout the course or in our personal lives to, to figure out what would be a respective care approach to something. Um, one thing I'll underscore that somebody mentioned they really appreciated is that when I'm teaching about communication skills or respectful care, one thing that I'm always really clear on is you don't ever have to do this. This is not the right way to do things or the wrong way to do things. It's a way that can help you be more effective and to achieve the goals that you have. So when someone's asking a question and asking what's the respectful care approach on this, it's not because they're like, what's the right answer and what do I need to do? It's like, hey, let's brainstorm this and see what would be maybe the more effective way to handle this and achieve the goal that I have and meet the needs of, of all the people who are involved. And then I also want to invite Trey to share if you have anything you want to say about the retreat and then we'll talk about the retreat. Okay. <laughs> So Trey's going to come over and talk for a minute, and then we're going to talk about the um, the discounts for the course. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thanks for having me. Uh -huh. um, no, I really enjoyed the retreat. I was not expecting it to be as long as it is, and it has been giving me an opportunity. Oh. I really am enjoying the retreat. Um, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be as long as it is. And I've, it's given me the opportunity to actually have a vacation as well as have education on the retreat. So that's been really valuable for me because otherwise I would not be on vacation right now. Um, and so, yes, I'm having a great time and we've been learning a lot too. And also with the way that the class goes, we still have our collaborative uh, growing and, and learning together, that has been phenomenal. And meeting everyone in the, in the class in person has also been great. So we've built new relationships that you just won't get anywhere else, so. Fantastic, yeah. thanks for sharing. Thanks, Jay. It's always good to hear from a student and get their input. Right. Exactly, the, the, yeah. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that we have, um, there, are num there are some discounts that people can, can qualify for on the digital advanced course. Uh -huh. And one of the most exciting ones is that the four inaugural cohort students are also affiliates. So if someone is interested in finding out more about the advanced course, I invite them to contact one or more of the, the, the students in the existing cohort because they, I think, are the best to talk about the course. So uh -huh. if someone wants to know more, they can ask me questions, but it could be so much more valuable to talk to someone who's in the course, who can answer the questions from their perspective. So um, to honor and, and appreciate the time and energy that they put in by talking to people about it and answering it, we have an affiliate program. So um, if someone uses the code from one of the inaugural cohort students, they get an additional discount off the digital course, either version of the course. Fantastic, I love that. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for what you're doing and for what it will bring to caregivers and ultimately, of course, my why always, the families and the babies. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. I'm glad, I, I, I have to say this, thank you for taking time out of your retreat to you and to Trayonda for sharing about this with us um, in, in working with your schedule and my schedule to make this happen. Um, so thank you so much for joining us on Real Talk. It's as always, it's great to chat with you. Lots of fun. Um, and I'm excited to see where this goes for you. Thank you. I'm so, I'm so excited to see how it goes. And thank you for taking time out of your birthday week 
Oh, yeah. Isn't that right? Happy birthday. It is. Thank you. Um, happy so, birthday. Yeah. Happy okay. birthday. Yeah. Um, and I know you're heading off on a vacation, a well-earned dream vacation. So I hope that's really, really fantastic for you too. Thank you so much. And thank you to our audience for joining us tonight. If you have any questions about this topic or anything related, or excuse me, related to the new digital advanced course in respectful care, put them in the feed and tag Danielle or tag Newborn Care Solutions and we'll make sure you get answers. You can also rewatch this segment and any of our past Real Talk episodes. And land, you can find all the content, including the original Respectful Care for newborns, infants, and toddlers over at newborncaresolutions.com and click on the Education tab. And you can find all of our Real Talk episodes on our YouTube channel. Simply put Real Talk Newborn Care Solutions into the search engine. Thank you for joining us and have a great night. Thank you.